We have exciting news before we continue with our video. Yes, guys, we are starting a new email newsletter and we want to give you exclusive access. In this newsletter, we will be sharing tips and tricks that will help you improve your bachata sensual dance. And we will also give you exclusive prices and discounts to our online programs. Yes. You will get behind the scenes access into our world as Bachata Central teachers and creators and so much more. To sign up for this newsletter, click the first link here below. But now let's continue with <laughs> All right, guys, so we are leading a lean in while we are doing our body weight. So we are in the close position. We prepare our body weights in seven, eight. We go one, two, three, tap, five, six, prepare, tap. So we prepare by bringing her a little bit back. Now we start doing continuous body weight. So leaders, we are shifting our weight to the back and to the front. We are going a little bit up and a little bit down, but we are keeping the energy continuous. So here we go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. And now when we want to do the lean in, we continue doing like our third body wave or the fifth or the seventh or the fourth, whatever you want, in this case, the third one. And we go in one, two. Notice how I didn't change my weight completely because what I wanted now was to have the hip connection. And from here, when I have the hip connection and her chest is open and she wants to go back I don't let her finish the body weight, but I block here the move, I stop it with this hip connection. Now I shift my weight to the back in three, four. And now I'm in the lean in position. So let's do it one more time, a little bit more fluent, and then we explain the follower part. We go one, two, three, tap, five, six, prepare and go. One, two, three, one more time, five, six, and let's go. One, two, three, four. So, follower, when we do the body waves and we are here in the flow and then we realize that he stops doing his weight transfer and he offers us the hip for connection, this is the moment when we also look for the connection in the hips. Very important is that when we are here in the body wave and he offers the connection that we don't just stop and stop and we don't want to look for the connection and then later we fall on, on him, don't do that. Just look directly for this connection and then you can go together into the lean in and you don't need to wait or something. So when you're doing the body weights, we have the right leg in front of us. And when he starts doing the lean in, you can pull the leg to next to the other one so you do a nice pose. But you don't have to. If you feel uncomfortable with that, you can just leave this leg there for stability reason and you do a nice pose like this. That's also good. So let's continue. We are here in seven, eight. We go with the body waves. We go in one, three, four, five, six, and let's go. One, two, three, four. To go out, we push the hips, leader. So we push in five, but we don't transfer the weight. We don't go from here and we go five because we need to let her have space for her upper body to fall. So it's a push and stay on the back. So we push, stay on the, uh, on the back. Now she has space to fall with the upper body and continue the movement. We come down a little bit if we need to. And now we give her the support to go up. We change the weight and we tap. So follow up, when we are in the lean in, we are here and he gives us the impulse with the hip. You need to know it's always a hip movement. So we don't go down with our upper body when he gives the impulse. Don't do this. We don't want to go down. Try to look up as long as possible so you really have a nice and straight back and you don't already close everything here. So we go here and we are very straight with the back, we look up, we still have our frame. And now when we go back, so we want to go up, we start the movement again with the hips. So the hips are like this now, and you want them to go into the straight position. So we start rolling our back from here, and the last thing is the head that comes up. Let's do it counting in one, two, three, tap, 
five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. From this point of view, in five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and also let us know down below. If you have any questions, make sure to check out these other videos that you're going to love. See you there and keep practicing.